guys an update on what we've been doing since uh, Monday. And uh, we've been very busy. We've done uh, two lengthy uh, news articles with uh, outside papers that came in. Uh, those articles are going to be really in-depth. We've been um, continue with uh, writing our letters. Uh, we continue to uh, call. Uh, today we went over to the Blood Tribe. We met with their council, their chief, and uh, uh, members of their council. Getting to what's uh, going on here, but also what happened with uh, uh, Frosty, the elderly. So we're still been on that. And I uh, gave them our perspective where we're coming from. But uh, I guess one of the big things that happened as we were coming back, we got a, I had a number of messages from, uh, uh, what's his first name? Del. Uh, uh, Lavador is his last name. Del. Del. And um, so what they wanted to do was, uh, uh, have a conference call with all of us. So we were right at the border when we, we got online. I understand the other side of the council were invited to uh, participate. None of them chose to. So there was just uh, uh, Jay, Paul, myself, and uh, Cheryl that were talking. But uh, they're coming in. They've been monitoring the situation. They said from day one, uh, they were trying to get here on the 4th, but because it's obviously a holiday, uh, they're going to be here the 11th and the 12th. And uh, so what they want to do is they want us to put together an agenda. And uh, just off the top of our heads, uh, uh, Paul was saying uh, about um, a lot of this trouble starts from individuals on the inside that are working against the council. We're elected officials. I had over 1,800 people that voted for me. And the thing about it is uh, I told him, you, could tell, you tell me that four individuals could take me out of office? I said, what about the other 1,800 that, the 1,830 people that voted for me that went out of their way to come out? And so, again, we pushed the Constitution with them. We pushed what's going on. And my secretary called me. She said she was uh, um, cornered by um, uh, David Spotted Eagle today. And so they're trying to get their chumped up charges again on us. So I, I, I called David, and I told him, I want you to call me as soon as possible. Just before I came here, uh, he called me. And I told him, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a courtesy call because it's, it's going to go out now with you guys. I said, I'm giving you a courtesy call. I said, um, uh, and I mentioned to him what was going on. I said, I understand you were, uh, you were uh, trying to interrogate my secretary today. I said, here's the deal, David. I understand you have been ever false fabricated charge that has been coming against the council. It comes from you. You're the one that's been signing off on it. I told him, I understand that you're Willie's uh, henchman that goes out and you begin to fabricate. I said, so you're at the top of the list. I'm giving you notice right now. I'm not threatening you. I said, I'm giving you notice that you're at the top of the list. You're going to be the, the first one that we're going to investigate, that we're coming after. Because I wanted to get the tables turned. See, they've been intimidated with their own fear. And I want him to know that this is a fact. Because he also... In his intimidation today, he threw at, and I didn't know this until later on, he threw the comment and had nothing to do with what's going on. He threw the comment and he said, oh, and by the way, federal charges are coming down on Jay, which is a lie. Because we've been talking to all the federal people. We've been talking to all the federal people at all levels, from the FBI and everybody. I, I'm not crying, I got an allergy. Hey. <laughs> so when I'm talking about that. About this, don't take a okay. crying, Bill. <laughs> when you said I winked, I had an allergy too. <laughs> so, with this, we wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I know sometimes it looks like it's nothing's happening, the wheels are spinning low, uh, slow, but it's happening. And he said we've been receiving countless information, countless calls. He said we've been monitoring the situation. And that's what I thought, uh, you know, this is this is one of the main individuals at the Department of Interior. So no longer, no matter what these guys want to do, how they want to try to hide, how they want to uh, 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 lie, it's coming out. And it's going to continue to come out. Because like, when those paper articles come out, you're going to see, we were given full opportunity to express ourselves. And it's going to be specific in, in what's going on here. And just like uh, uh, Nathan today had, for the first time probably, had the opportunity to say this is what's going on and this is what's happening to our lives. This is what's uh, taking place around here. And see, a lot of people aren't hearing that. They're hearing that one side when Willie 
writes in his articles and says, oh, it really hurt me to get rid of Paul, but we have to protect the rights of the people. He's lying. He enjoyed getting rid of the, uh, Paul. And when he goes around, and I told, I, I told my wife the other day, all they could do is say that we drew uh, uh, per diem to take off. I said, but they don't pull the whole story. See, that per diem, and I'm just going to say this because it's so absurd. That, was, that meeting was scheduled. We, that's when we were still holding hands and singing Kumbaya. And they were on the other side. So when they set the meeting up in Kalispell, that, that, those checks were already issued for us to go down there. But they hit us on that Thursday. They hit us with Jay. And by the time we got back on Friday, everything was closed because everybody's already over at the fair. And then we get, that, we get the statement to come in on Sunday. We come in on Sunday, what did they do? They removed Paul. So again, as we went down to Billings, my only purpose to go down there was to address Mr. Uh, Parisian. So we went down there. And when I addressed him, I was on my way back on, uh, on Wednesday, two o'clock. Again, the tribal office closed down. So from Wednesday to Friday, everything was shut down. Wednesday to Friday. I come in Monday, what happens? I get fired. I told my wife, my God, I've been on the job 30 days, 30 working days. And they're writing in the papers that I'm corrupt. I told her, I thought it takes longer than 30 days to get corrupt. I told her, but in reality, you got to take those four days off we got for uh, Indian days. Those three days, Willie just shut down. I said, I've been in office for uh, uh, since July. And in that time, we've been shut down, what, three times? I told her, in reality, I probably have less than 21 working days and I'm corrupt. <laughs> so if, if that's the best they could do, I said, my God, they're reaching for strong. But that's what's happening. The, the feds are coming in. And I know uh, uh, they already had a scheduled uh, meeting coming in to do an audit on the law enforcement. And I mentioned to him a number of instances that have happened. And he says, I, I was totally unaware of it. So we, we, we kind of brought some things to their attention of some of the officers, officers that aren't qualified, that can't pass certain tests, and those are going to be addressed. So, uh, what, what, what I'm, I guess in a nutshell what I'm saying is, is that uh, your hard work, your calls, your prayers, your prayers have been answered. And this isn't the end. I want people to continue. Continue to hit them. Continue to go at them. If you've got letters and documents you're still going to send out, continue to send them. Head them out to the uh, state of Montana because of those two state representatives we have. I don't call them councilmen. They're state representatives that are plants by the state of Montana to come in and destroy the Blackfeet Nation. That's what they are. And so we're, we're just continuing to hit them because, see, here's the deal. Shannon, on the outside world, he's admonished as this really rising star in the democratic uh, uh, field of politics. But see, the outside world,